Hello, who found it? Welcome back to another video. So, question four, understanding other aspects of the media. So we've got a cartoon here. Yo, you're probably struggling to see what's on this cartoon. Yo, even me, but even me. So just try and zoom there. Like with your two little fingers, just zoom into the YouTube video. Okay, have you, have you zoomed in yet? Just just try like pinch where it says better, worse. There, just pinch it and pull, boom. So, gosh, Elizabeth, um, all together you got 27 Valentines. Is that all? Mom, why do they always show love with a heart? Why not with something else? And mom's like, you mean like a liver or a spleen? And the girl's like, well, maybe it's because when you love someone, you, you feel it right there. And when that someone is far away, that feeling becomes sort of a deep ache. Prem 7, well, what were you and mom discussing so seriously? Oh, she was telling me about love since little girl. And what does your mom say about love? Uh, she says, oh, it, it's a pain. So that's like, oh, meant to be so funny. Ha ha. Look, the cartoons are never going to be funny. It's like so dry, man. Like, I'd be so disappointed if someone told me a joke like this. But yeah, like the mom was trying to give us some kind of, yeah, like, oh, yeah, you love with your soul. You love with your heart. You're meant to feel it. And there's a little bit of a joke here. Like, oh, you don't want a heart. You want to give them like your, your spleen or something, your liver. And the girl, she just like, yeah, she doesn't really get it. She can't feel love on that level. I mean, can you? Like, can you even feel love on that level? Okay. Have you been loved before? Do you even have the capacity to love and be loved? Okay, look, okay. Let's just focus on the video. Not on your own existential crisis or your non-existent love life. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to you. No, I'm joking. Shame. Um, She says it's a pain. So the girl's like, yeah, she doesn't get it. Yeah, I'm just going to dismiss it as a pain. And that's the joke. Haha, ha, so funny. Thanks. So the young girl is Elizabeth Elizabeth, and uh, the the other characters are a young boy Elizabeth's friend, her mother, and her father. Okay, so refer to frame two. What does Elizabeth's response "Is that all?" reveal about her feelings? She's um like she's just disappointed. She's dissatisfied at the whole situation. She's like unimpressed. She's like, oh really? Oh, twenty seven Valentines? Oh, is that all? Okay, like, yeah. she's not feeling it. So just why Elizabeth's friend does not respond to her question. So it's her friend there in frame two. The friend is just shocked. She's astonished, dumbfounded, taken aback by Elizabeth's arrogance here. Her sense of entitlement, her lack of gratitude. You got 27 valentines. Oh, is that all? You know, if it was a boy and a boy got one valentine, yo, he'd think he's the oh. Hey, like, he's gonna tell everyone, you know, I got a valentine. I got a rose from a girl. He's high-fiving everyone. He thinks he's the hottest guy there. But this girl, 27 Valentines. Oh, is that is that all? Yeah, validation. Uh, 4.2. Discuss how the visual clue in either frame 5 or frame 6 uh, conveys the mother's attitude toward love. So there's frame 5, there's frame 6. Well, as you can see here, the mother, she she places her hand on her chair. She leans forward and she's, she's smiling, expressing her very romantic view of love. So it's something that she cares about deeply. It's meaningful. She's trying to give her daughter a bit of a life lesson here. Frames 9 and 10, so right at the end, boom, here and here. Critically discuss how the interaction... Okay, look, they're saying critically, oh, okay, things just got serious. Critically discuss how the interaction between the father and the daughter creates humor in this cartoon. So, yeah, now this is the father asking her. And as you can see in frame 9, like, the father's quite interested. He, he shows his interest, his enthusiasm about his wife's views on love, and he expects a very positive response from his daughter. But now this is laying the foundation for something to be humorous. Uh, in frame 10, he's completely deflated by the girl's very curt and unflattering response. And that's very anticlimactic. So the girl's like literal misunderstanding of her mother's explanation creates some kind of humor. Okay, haha, so funny, thanks. 4.4, replace the word got uh, in frame 1 with the more suitable verb. Very easy, like you received, you were given, obtained, yeah, anything like that. And provide the comparative form of the word seriously. Uh, seriously-er. Uh, that doesn't make sense. It's just going to be more seriously. Okay, that's it. That's the question.